What's going on ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? Knights 4 back with another HHN related video. In this video I'm going to be telling you what I am looking forward to for HHN 2018. Now I got a list of properties that I'm looking forward to from, from worst to best in my opinion. I hope that if I go through them this is going to change me. So this is going to be pre-Halloween Horror Nights. I will make a post-Halloween Horror Nights video after I go to the event. But here we go guys. Here's the mazes I am looking forward to starting with number 8. Obviously is going to be the Walking Dead All Day Attraction because we see that every year. Uh, it's there 24-7, 365 days a year, so uh, that's one of the least favorite, uh, of course, but, you know, I go through it because it's a maze and it's something to walk through and might as well, you know. Number Coming at number 7 is going to be, honestly, the Horrors of Blumhouse Chapter 2. Now, don't get me wrong, I think Murdy will do an incredible job at this, but those two properties that he chose for the Horrors of Blumhouse are not really fan favorites. Uh, I have not seen any of them, to be honest, so I can't really voice my opinion on it, but from what I've heard from reviews and stuff, that it's not that good, and yeah, guys, so I hope that it changed my it changes my opinion going through the maze, though, so I'm... Very excited to see what comes next. Number six is going to go to The First Purge. Now, The First Purge, uh, it was a really good movie, don't get me wrong. But for it to be a maze, I've always looked at it as a scare zone. So I don't know if it would fit perfect. And we'll see. Hopefully, it's going to blow me away. Hopefully, they'll bring stuff from past Purge movies and the TV show to life. Well, that would be really nice, but who knows. Number five is going to Poltergeist, and now on number, I put this on number five because I've never really seen the original Poltergeist, and I'm kind of uh, excited to see what they're going to bring to life and stuff. I know I'm well aware of the um, the infamous uh, the lines from the movie and stuff like that, some infamous scenes and stuff like that. So I'm very curious to see how they bring those scenes to life. Uh, and John Murray did say this is going to be the most tech-heavy maze they've done at the event so far. So I'm very excited to see what he pulls off. Number four is going to Trick or Treat. Now, Trick or Treat, I actually have playing on my monitor right now, but you can't hear it. It's on pause. But uh, this movie is awesome. This movie has, uh, I think, like three or four different tales that it tells. So I'm very excited to see the transitions in between each tale and how they bring those tales to life. Not only that, but I want to see a lot of the makeup for the werewolves, a lot of makeup for Sam and all that. All the characters that they bring to life, I'm very excited to see. Uh, how they're going to bring this whole maze uh, to life. Not only that, but it's going to be a scare zone. So whatever we don't see in the maze, it's going to be in the scare zone. Uh, and vice versa, if we don't see in the scare zone, it's going to be in the maze. So very much looking forward to that. Coming in at number three is going to be Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. Halloween is always fun to um, go through. Michael Myers is one of the most iconic serial killers in horror movie history. And for them to bring him back to the event this year is very exciting. A lot of people did want Halloween 2018, but I'm just excited that we're getting Michael Myers again. So Halloween 4 should be good. I have not seen that movie in a very long time, so I gotta rewatch that to refresh my memory of what happens and stuff like that. But nonetheless, Michael Myers coming back to the event is always a plus. Number two is gonna be going to Stranger Things. Now Stranger Things season one was a fantastic season and I'm very much looking forward to uh, them bringing the season to life to see Demogorgons to see hopefully the kids to see a lot of the iconic scenes from season one I hope that we see a lot of um, A lot of special effects in this uh, Maze too. how they do the upside down. I'm very excited to see a lot of things and stuff like that And of course my number one maze is going to be Universal Monsters music by Slash now that pretty much tells me that that's going to be basically almost like a music maze and it's music by Slash and it's the classic Universal Monsters, you cannot go wrong with them. And from what I've seen at Scare LA, I am very much looking forward to this maze. Not only am I looking forward to, of course, the music and the all the different set pieces, but I'm looking forward to seeing how, they, how the monsters come out in the final process, the final uh, showdown. It should be fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to throw out uh, honorable mention, and that's going to be the Terror Tram, because I know I didn't mention it on this list, but the Terror Tram does look like it's going to be another awesome year. They're bringing back Hollywood Harry. It's going to be legit. I'm very much looking forward to it and stuff like that. So, guys, uh, that is my list of my most anticipated mazes at HHN 2018 this year. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will uh, be at the event uh, Saturday, September 15th, and uh, I think it's Saturday, November 3rd, which is the closing night. Those are the two confirmed dates I have uh, that I will be there. I think I'm going to squeeze in one more in between there, but I'm not too sure yet. So if you guys see me at the event, 
don't be afraid come say hi come take a picture come walk through a maze with me it should be fun very much looking forward to it that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you for watching thank you for being constant supporters and joining the madhouse thank you for being a knight and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one bye